Hello, everyone. This is waiting for someone to do an impression of me. <laughs> you missed it. If you're watching the video, you missed it. If you're listening to the podcast, you got it. I've been banned from doing that. I'm trying very hard not to do that. As a matter of fact, I was perusing Reddit today and found somebody that was was heraldering our praises and showing people how to find us on SoundCloud. Um, went from... Oh, but I don't know how I feel about role, role mongers. You know, the DM kind of dicks around and then you should be more focused and everything. It's like, well, your your internet comments have been heard. If you listen to Star Wars, we just, it's laid back. We have fun. Tangent City. You got to admit, five guys in armor and horses trying to be a party is kind of funny. I do let loose, but you know what? Season one of Crownfall approaches and I shall... Tighten my sphincter, tighten my lip, let these guys have fun and just be all the bad guys. Because I agree. necessarily in that order. <laughs> <laughs> I believe the digital term. I'm, at, I'm sure all, all the bad guys do have tight sphincters, I promise. Anyway, but tonight. Excellent! Uh, tonight, <laughs> we are playing Pathfinder's Playtest, but not the Doomsday Dawn. Everybody else is playing. We are playing another episode of Arc Lord's Envy, a Pathfinder Society playtest adventure for fifth level and going around the room. Well, when last we left our party, you were talking with a Mercane merchant named Lydia, and she wouldn't roll over. No matter how much Tupperware our paladin bought, she would not roll over on certain sources and you guys ended up leaving. There were some new members to the party. We are introducing Frank Hamilton halfway through the show because that's what he does. We were eight episodes into like Star Wars before we picked up Frank. We're like six into this one before we picked up Frank. Threw a character at him. He says, what is the second edition stuff? And we're like, no, 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 it's okay. Play your favorite guy. You know, we'll just, so it's a kind of a cut and paste. But as he learns, as we learn, as we speak about the rules in the DMing and second edition, you will learn something, because I know I'll learn something. I stopped reading these rules a while ago. I went here, Jay Tamlin, and do you remember Squee, Man Meat? Did we lose him? Did we stay did he stay behind and eat? Didn't come into the you know, didn't yeah, he come wasn't allowed to come into the hall for the dinner because of his um appearance. Because of his appearance. Oh, oh nice. Se Se Sebnet fed him. <laughs> and he stayed behind. And now you meet him on the street that's right mr joe gibson is in the house tonight ladies and gentlemen playing squee the warrior I... <laughs> <laughs> he's a little shy ladies and gentlemen. Let's, let's give him a big round of applause we have arliss of emode our strong paladin who does not believe in sin played by ryan messina hey. we have as i just said frank hamilton will be joining us playing master Arif the cloistered cleric of Phrasma, who is, I believe you're using the PDF, the um, the cleric of Saren Ray as a cheap I am for right now. Yeah. yeah. It, 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 yes. <laughs> yes. I'm using a cheap copy of myself. <laughs> <laughs> Not to be forwarded or, or returned. We have, of course, our man, Matt Witt, sharing his feminine side as the pre-generated character, Maricel, the elven iconic rogue. Well, hello, everybody. <laughs> I just can't get over that. And of course, our one of our resident rule rule lawyers, <clears throat> one of our resident rule lawyers, and dare I say, my now I don't think married you. relation to my daughter, blood relation, son-in-law, Mister J Tamlin, playing. Now, you wouldn't say what you would play. We were like, you're a Magus, you're a wizard, and you wouldn't tell us. Well, I'm a GM, you have to tell me, damn it. So what the hell are you playing? Oh, I'm a wizard with a fighter dedication multi-class. You're a wizard, Harry. All right. Oh, I see. So you did the dedication multi-class-y thing and kind of turned you into... I get it. I get it. Oh, yeah. I'm on you. All right. Well, we're going to see how you get into a fight. But wait, what's this? There's one more on the horizon? Well, not everyone is sort of... You know, check the box going, ooh, Pathfinder 2nd Edition, me, 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 me. Of a crew of like 11 plus auxiliary players, uh, we were hard to get four or five. Bunch liked it. Then the more we play, man, they kind of miss the old stuff. Like, we're still kind of on the fence. But we shall play through this one adventure at least. So you can hear our shenanigans. And I've asked Mr. Aiden Willems. You know him as Poser, the pissy teenage je Jedi. You know him as Vraskin, sorry, the former um, sorcerer. Veraskin is now getting back to his sorcerer roots. 
He might have died in Clinton's game, but I specifically asked him to replace Ashley and play a sorcerer in this game. Mr. Ian Willems, what are you playing this evening? Uh, I am playing a sorcerer, uh, Draconic Bloodline. Ooh, and of what ancestry? Uh, ancestry is Arctic Elf. All right. So leaving the shop. Oh, wait a minute. What is this I've got up in front of me? This is the wrong map. This 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 looks like combat. No 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 no. There's no. Com I, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, there's no combat here. Let's let's return to Nex, the city of Quantium, the capital city. See the giant arrow for those of you that are watching this on YouTube and are about to watch our dice rolls. Let's just say one of us is in close proximity with a fan, and that fan has friends that have become fans of the show. And through that sort of A meets B, works at the store, that kind of thing, um, it came to our attention that Theater of the Mind is nice, but can't see dice rolls. Oh, sure, Ryan rolled that 20. Oh, sure, Frank's just hamming up because he just never rolls all those one. No. So, giving it to you raw, showing you how the sausage is made. You asked for this, and I'm not sorry. Nope, because there's not a lot of editing in the video. So if you get one crap music tray playing in the background and a whole bunch of us doing silly stuff and you have to suffer through it as opposed to a nice tidy podcast that we edit with lots of ambience and sound effects. Well, but you wait, did that. Jeff, what about your dice rolls? What about my <laughs> dice rolls? On the jam, damn it. I will be rolling damage on screen. So there won't be any of those shenanigans about did he live, did he not live? We shall see. So... Where was I? Ranch number one. <laughs> Thank you, friend Joe. <laughs> no problem. Can we can we get a counter going on screen for this? A counter? A counter for DM rants. Oh, I think for initiative. <laughs> you know, this is this is introduction. This is flavor. This is bringing the audience up to speed. This is legal and allowed. In the city of Quantium, in the land of Nex. Bequeathed by a mega wizard. There are the Ark Lords. You remember them? They're very pissy about every little thing the guy ever wrote down. And that has led us to a murder mystery. As wizards are fighting over some sort of obscure list of ingredients. Which has led us here and there. We have fought berserk flesh golems. We have CSI'd a laboratory. We have found claw marks. We have found adamantium shavings. We have found really, really, really cool affordable packs that you can smear on your store sword and turn it into like five minutes of adamantium claws. I mean, that that's that's worth playing the whole thing right there. It's almost worth jumping into second edition full bore. And we've had characters come and go. You're leaving the shop. Where were you going from here? Space. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Matt, but not in this campaign. <laughs> Eventually. Eventually. Um, Matt Wood has been it, diligently reading the Starfinder books and is telling me, not ready yet. Not yet. Not yet. Yeah. No. And by the way, it's no. not space. It's space. <laughs> <laughs> um, I thought we were. We had decided last session that we were going to head on to the dinner. You're going to head on to the dinner? It was time right to, to the party or report back to the, the house? Uh, well, we should probably report, report to the house anything we found, drop off any evidence, and maybe get cleaned up a bit. Okay. Yeah, that'd be good. Upon um, crossing town, innocently enough, may I have perception checks all around, gentlemen? Fumble, fumble. <laughs> fumble, 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 fumble is right. Oh, natural one for a seven. Oh, I see a red three on the screen. It's we we have two in three. red. We have Matt's signature red, and we have Kane as red. Oh, uh, I will switch then. Oh, that's nice of you. But you know what I don't see? Just because you see dice doesn't mean there's still a podcast going on here, gentlemen. Call them out. Yeah. I was just <laughs> go down the All list. Right, <clears throat> first on the board should be first calling out. So it'd be Matt. 
No, that would be me. That's a 17. IR black. Oh, I didn't see the fancy frame that came off the character sheet. I apologize. 17 for Abdina. Abdina. Abdima. You know, we're going to play in, we're going to play City of Myths in a dirty, dirty Portland, Chicago kind of esque. I'm going to, I call the town Edgewood and I will, everyone will be named Bob and Charlie and I won't blah, 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 names anymore. What do you think? No? <laughs> Sent you an email with that. In it. Anyway. Yeah. We've, we've spoken about this for the future of the podcast. Stop picking complicated name guys. <laughs> <laughs> Or just like three I'll just, syllables, man. It's three, uh, syllables. It's three syllables. It's like a, it's like a stat by but with vowels. Mm. No, dude, I get it. it it's even phonetic. Yes. <laughs> you get two jaw drops maximum. That's it. Well, if I said Abdima, he'd be like, no, it's pronounced Abdima. I, I would not say anything because that's, that's exactly, exactly right. right. <laughs> <laughs> 17 oh, becoming going, 16, tonight. 16 becoming 15. Okay. Uh, Marisol got <clears throat> Matt. I got 11. Kane. I got seven. Master Arif. And uh, I, I, I got a, a, a 13. Yes. Lucky, lucky you. I'm, I'm paying attention. Look over there. Arles. Eight. Eight. All right. And of course. I was supposed to be bringing up, you know, there's, <laughs> there's a whole, there's a whole new world here with, uh, <clears throat> with video. Squee, I don't see Squee up there. I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> Use the generic roller, man. It's okay. Just break into, uh, it's a whole new world. A little lad music going on here. Who's riding on the carpet with him, though? That won't let me. Squee die bombing with a scared shitless princess <laughs> with this carpet. Oh no, put me on the back of there. All right, and change the scene it when the princess pets the, ho- pets the horse to the scene where Squee jumps off the carpet and attacks the horse. And attacks the horse? No, to eat. Oh, I see. The whole new world. Oh, there he is. I was wondering if you were going to pick up a, an actual musical cue. Um... So while we are stalling, huh? while we Sorry. are quickly putting boring. in, um, <laughs> Kane, what'd you get? Uh, I got a seven. Seven. Okay. Getting our initiatives about us. Is that everybody in the order here? Arl's got an eight. Mine's not loading. <laughs> well, um, on the side there, you see the generic dice roller. Mm-hmm. Just have a go. Put in your integer. Should be like a plus. You know, you just throw in there. Just have a go. Be a goer. You're just innocently coming upon the scene. I'm going to use a generic dice roll for you. Still looking. Still looking. See, this is the part would be edited in the podcast that you have okay, to fine. suffer. Where the in. hell is it? <laughs> <laughs> you must forgive, Mr. Gibson. I strong armed him back into this game as a valuable player. He's been off the dice, certainly have never played on Roll20 or been involved. Yep. You know, so, bought that mic stand today, didn't you? Yeah, so anybody want to tell me where I'm going for this? <laughs> on roll 20, on the left side, there's a column of icons. Tetrahedron. I'm looking. You're yeah, in the there's, r- a big co- there's a big column. What do you want me to down? Second from the bottom. Yep. Second from the bottom. D20. Click it. There we go. Thank Opens you. Opens up your raw roller, um, and it's pretty self-explanatory. Yep. I recommend using the advanced roll. I did, and it's... There we go. Oh, look, a neon green for our squee. Jesus. <laughs> no natural 20. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's fine. I know somebody's shaking his fist in New York at you for desecrating the neon green. Anyway, <laughs> another eight. Now, that's with your modifier. What's your modifier? One. 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 Champion <laughs> of nine. Welcome to the team, <laughs> Joe. And we say... Descending and voila. Okay. Now that we have a turn order and we know that it's your turn, starting with Abdima, those perception checks that I asked for earlier. They weren't really perception checks. Well, the perception checks actually count as your initiative. 
it's Which fancy I, and it actually kind of makes sense. Yep. Whatever skill you were using when combat falls upon you, you guys were just obviously looking around town, heading across town, going art, looking directions. I would go with perception. However, since we just spent a way too much time digging out our actual um, <laughs> initiative rolls, we'll just keep them as <laughs> keep them as is. So, pretending that your initiative is your perception, Abdima, where are you? Can you ping your position, please? Because there's a lot of... right here. All right, heading around a tree. Oh, so center of town, square buildings, all clay, those flat little roofs with the um, little sort of fancy edges. Picture some of the Battlefield 1 maps when you're in, you know, the, in the um, Sudan kind of thing. Little little spotty town with little buildings all square and those little roofs and carpets everywhere kind of thing. Picture that. Only unfolding in, in, a, in the map is a nice square pool of water. 10, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 feet across, you know, spanning out of one nice edge cutoff, some lovely palm trees, some few tents. Abdima, ahead of you, you see a short, fiery figure squatting on the edge of a building. Peeking its little fiery head out, watching you approach. Okay, no, when you said squatting on a building, that's not what I thought. Squatting next to a building. Okay. Um, fiery little being. Do, is that like a rule knowledge arcana check? Or is that like a creature of some sort? That's like a fiery little dude. Made of fire. Vaguely shaped humanoid. Rather small. Peeking out. Like a gingerbread man. Only he's on fire. Okay. Can I try using a recall knowledge? Sure. What I know about this particular time, type of creature person? Go right ahead. Okay, and you would want... Arcane? Arcane. Or Got planes? Uh, that would be arcane. Or arcana. Okay. That would be a arcana check of 14. That is a small elemental and cannot really exist here naturally. It has probably been summoned. And if it's camped out and hiding from you and looking at you, guess what I'm going to do? Okay. Question I... is, what are you going to do? Um... Everyone, I believe we have stumbled into the wrong area of town. I would recommend arming yourselves. A single action. Now you get three actions in a round. The old way used to be like a move action. Would our rules lawyer care to talk about how they chop up a surprise round? I'm assuming you guys would just get a single action before shit goes down. Um, I don't think they have surprise rounds anymore. They just, here you go. All right. So with it being a Dima's term, Talking is free. While you're talking, turn it around. What's going on with the hands and feet? Okay. Uh, first thing, I'm going to cast Long Strider, I think. Because I can't see where he is, so I'm assuming he's out of my immediate walk range. Well, I'll tell you what. With Abdima's... Um, Actually, no, I don't know that he is. Where I can't because I can't see ahead. I can see a box of yeah, yeah. I can say with the warning and everyone sort sort of like you know alerts becomes mo much more alert. I will give you much more of the map because danger is afoot. Cool. Okay. Um, in that case, correction. I'm going to cast. Um, a heightened magic missile at the one I can see because I'm assuming the other one's around a building. Okay. Yes, try to, like, even though I'm revealing here, you're kind of going off of line of sight. Yeah. And these things are, you know, encroaching upon your position and you're somewhat surrounded. So, yeah, uh, first action is I'm going to cast magic missile at okay. this guy right here. Mm hmm. And I'm going to use as a verbal. Okay. And then if it's all right with you, can you, I can't remember if you can draw a weapon while moving in this game. Uh, as long as your base attack is certain height, should be okay. Okay, then I'm going to do that. Oh, and, no, no, maybe not. Because oh. they, they want you to use move actions just to get your shield up and actually use it to buff your AC. So I'm assuming no. 
Okay, that might be something to look into. Hmm. Well, how about um, this? We'll we'll go in favor of our ignorance of first edition. So right now, you, you can. can draw while we, we talked about it. You can draw while you're moving. Okay, there you go. As, okay. as, as part of your movement action. There cool. Go. So I'm going to do that. Going. Very good, sir. Apparently that is... Oh, by pressing Q now. Okay. So I was here. Trying to give you guys as much of this. 20 feet. Uh... Okay. With my weapon in hand, mm -hmm. and I will hold for the creature to approach me. And when it does, I'm going to attack. All right. Next, we have Master Arif. Hearing the warning, he's pointing at the front of a building, saying, you know, not good, not good part of town. Glancing around, you become aware of creatures, you know, sort of creeping up behind us amongst the tents. What do you do? I'll uh, kind of take a quick look around. That's my perception check and then uh, oh oh my they they seem to be behind us as well and i'll begin to move i'll just move kind of up towards the middle there please don't bring the fight to the giant square that has completely blotted out your miniatures where it says pc start here <laughs> yeah moving forward to the north side of the map now picture that we are on a rectangle map which is twice as tall as it is wide the pool is in the center and the edges are cut off and they are kind of shimming up the left side of this pool, tents behind them on their, on their left side, the town sort of sprawled out on the right and a large domed arch up top where now a single figure can be seen. Okay, so I just kind of moved there. And that's a, uh, let's see, we have three actions. So there's my movement action. Then I can still cast a spell, correct? Yep. Watch the uh, spells. Some of them take more than one action. Yes. Yeah. So, okay. So the spell that I'm going to cast is, let's see. I think this is a two action, somatic and verbal, rave enfeeblement. Okay. So that would be move and then two actions for the spell and you're done. I think I'm going to try to target that guy right there. Okay. Uh, he's, so, he's got cover, like all kinds of cover between crossing through Abdema Square and the corner of the building. So if you like, I'll let you move somewhere else that's still within range for initial move. Or do you want to just hang on to that? Uh, I'm actually, sorry, I'm just trying to re-familiarize myself with the spell list of a pre-gen. Well, my concern is make, this is a ranged touch attack. Yeah, yeah. Right. So that means here you are going. Nope, I, I think I'm going to go for it <laughs> like this, right? It's like hello. So, so, so then, you know, I'll probably cast it back here when I could see under the fronds of the the tree. Let's okay. See. How, do, how do I? Yeah. Trying to hit that guy right there from there. Okay. Just trying to Maybe. zoom in on this board here where, you know, it looks like a nice, tight, clean video shot. Yeah, kind of shooting right there, like underneath the, the fronds of the tree before Abdima. You yeah, know, the tree's more concealment than cover unless they're right on the other side of that bark, so that's fine. But Abdima okay. is totally in your way, granting a, probably a lovely shield bonus to me. Uh, upping my AC a wee bit, but hey, that's fine. Thank you. I, I uh, don't mind that at all. Speaking of which, I forgot to roll for damage for the magic missiles from before. Oh yeah, uh, that that would be. Um... Yeah, that uh, it took seven points of damage. Okay, thank you. Thank you. That is acceptable. So next we have Marisol. Maricel, she's going to... Lean in on the mic a bit. Oh, sorry. Not even pointing at me. That's my bad. Um, okay, so Maricel, she's going to... Um, having been notified of the ones behind us. Um, and do I see... Yeah, I think I got clear sight of the person up on the dome. Yep. You see a woman 
loading a crossbow and is in a really good perch. How high is this building right here in front of me that I'm painting? Uh, it's got to be at least 10 feet. So at that's, least two squares up. That's doable. Uh, sorry, Frank, did you get that shot off on the guy? I, I did not, actually. I'm, like, trying to find my uh, bonus for range touch, so I was being super quiet while you guys just... No, on. no, that's fine. Like I said, we're... <laughs> We can kind of go, or this technically all happens at the same time, even though we're going around turns, and I don't mind suspending, you know, disbelief. Okay. Just yeah, so, so that the... Yeah, so going to, um, noticing that we're flanked and seeing the person on the tower up there loading a crossbow, sprint to this building and uh, high jump to get up to the top of it. Okay. And uh, normally I wouldn't be able to do it because I'd have to pass through somebody. But my character, fancy little. Well, passing through friendlies is not, doesn't hinder you really in combat. I don't know. But you, normally you have to perform an initial stride of 10 feet. Oh, right. And they're kind of like difficult terrain, aren't they? Yeah. Sorry, That's I was just thinking about it. Okay. But I have the, uh, uh, the quick jump feet. So as basically as my full round of action i'm just going to run and jump up onto the top it says you perform right. a high jump or a long jump you don't perform the initial stride and you don't need to have moved 10 feet all right so off you go and, and with the ath athletics check how uh you know how high in the air can you go that's what i'm looking for you're not on a wolf this time running at a wall no so I'm that's a, in your favor i'm a jumpy leapy rogue that's right so again, splat right into the wall. And... Jumpy leap, yeah. Uh, so I've got a s plus seven, and I'm not sure what. Uh, I'd have to look at the skill for that, wouldn't it? I thought it's probably under athletics. So you're feeling both jumpy and leapy? Yes. Where are they? I don't oh, know. Skill checks in DCs. I bet you is where you'll find that. But anyways, that's what I'm going to do. We can find out if I succeed while you carry on with other people's turns. All right. So back to Old Man Arif before we go too okay. far ahead. So um, take a range touch attack. Got a 12. All right. That sounds like a horrible miss. <laughs> Well, um, there's AC and then there's TAC, touch AC. And for us, they are the same. And yes, okay. a horrible miss. But good try, good try. They're, they're dodgy, look out! And then I'll move <laughs> towards the corner of the building. Uh, nice. and, and if I can, I'll draw my scimitar as I move forward. Uh, you've moved? Yes, sir. Um, Oh, before or after the spell? Uh, I cast my spell, then moved. Okay, so yeah, that's fine. Um, and your base tech is obviously... At, we're all like fifth level, so it should be fine. Squee. Oh, yes. Now, even though it says, you know, player start here, okay? I'm actually going to have you, because, you know, you had just finished that scrumptious meal. And, you know, get found directions to the Mercane office kind of thing. And... Matt, again, please stop rolling black dice. You can't see the numbers. It's kind of defeating. Switch back to red. <laughs> My <laughs> dice are evil. <laughs> Went to a lot of trouble to make this uh, video okay. for okay. Okay. friend of the podcast, Alish and friends. So, but for those who, who can't see black on black, mm -hmm. uh, I got a 16 for my athletics check. Okay. And uh, I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to make this, but I don't know who would even be able to make it short of having a plus 10 and rolling a natural 20. Um, because it says, you, it says you stride, and if you move at least 10 feet, roll a DC 30 athletics check in an attempt to leap vertically. This DC might be increased or decreased due to the situation as determined by the GM. 
Okay. So, but it's starting so with DC. It at sounds third, like you're looking for a natural twenty. Yeah, but I mean, why even bother then? It's a five percent chance. <laughs> you gotta start somewhere, man. Or something a higher level, much cooler character than you might try, but that's fine. Well, fifth is no slouch. That's okay. You're a you're a legend in your own mind. Don't give up. That's right. Obviously, the wolf incident taught him nothing, and he throws yes. himself off this wall. Gets the perhaps foot up. you're perhaps you're better at climbing. He does though. He does get a foot on the wall, propel himself upward, and ju Whoa. just falls short of fingers on the edge and comes sliding back down. And with such a high roll, I allow you to nimbly land on your feet. And you know, now how many? How much movement have you used there? That's pretty much all of it. Yeah. So you ran and jumped. That was and, yeah. That was my whole turn. Just attempting to jump is two actions. Third third move is you cursing at the wall and hopefully no one saw you. All right. That's fine. Aha! And a display so, of uselessness. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's, it's good. It's all good. You're fine. You're fine. Squee. As I yes. said, finishing your meal, coming across town, getting directions to the Mercane merchant, ta starting you at the very top left corner of our map. You're walking along, and you see in the back of this building, opposite, and completely not seeing Marcel's fabulous display on the south side of the building, on the north side of the same building, you see a tiny little creature peeking around, waiting to be, you know, up to something. No good. It's a little fire elemental dude, and just leaning out, or, well, a little dude made a fire. Leaning out. Sorry, I'm just trying to find my guy on the map, because you're... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you are here. Sorry. Uh, because I can't see it because all this other crap that's in my way. <laughs> I'm trying to do the shift ping where it takes you guys to where you need to be. You are here. Huh? Okay. I can barely see it. All right. Hello. I can't. Oh, that's better. That's better. All right. Play, play with your <laughs> zoom slider. So this will be nice and easy for Squee. Squee will charge. All right. <laughs> charge anything. <laughs> <laughs> da, 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 da. Sound the green trumpets. All right. I just have to get to them. Yep. Now you're crossing squares on a diagonal. I know. Um, so what is our movement? I'm assuming Pathfinder is still legit with the whole, you know, first square is five, second square actually does not count as five. It counts as ten. That kind of thing. Yeah. As, it as seems far, to be counting that way, yeah. As far as I know, it is still that way. It is. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It doesn't make any sense to me. I hate yeah. that movement rule. If you're moving yeah. in a straight line, it doesn't matter what direction you're going. It takes the same amount of frickin' movement. Hey, we, we <laughs> recently <laughs> found out in Star Wars it's worse. It's like double. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. Like, yeah, I can't wait for that. But thank you. It has no hold here. Merrick will not be able to toss people on at corners. No, no, it's too much. I think, I think it's supposed to offset the shape of the grid. It More is, than anything. it is, it's supposed yeah. to be. Anyway, charge away, Mr. Squee. Do you have control of your miniature? Uh, getting there. You may fire when ready. You may fire when ready. There we go. So much stuff in my way. No, I do not have control over my own guy. Gentlemen, meet Squee. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. Hey. Not short for screen. <laughs> Squee. Squee. So it, it looks like I have control of this character, Jeff. Yes, yeah, so somebody does. I do not. For God's <laughs> sakes, move that man. <laughs> Did you want to be there or one over? Nope, right there. Okay. And swing. Double move and a swing. So that's oh. teamwork right there. That is. T teamwork. I that... can't even see oh, oh, it, it could be controlled uh, by all players, and yet <laughs> Joe still you. Joe still does not have. No, ah. not. All right. Well, we'll just refresh that. There. Just try to move them around now. Oh, also, um, if you were measuring anything at the very top no. of your, you looking for the arrow on the top of those icons? Last thing you clicked on was the dice roll. Yep. And it's highlighted blue. Make sure that the arrow at the very top is highlighted blue. So you're using the pointer. Oops, there you go. And then select now, your quick... character, and you should be able. He should turn into like a no. four-sided arrow. I cannot select him. Oh, well, he doesn't like. <laughs> he doesn't <laughs> like you. Now nobody can use him. Uh, Joe, a quick yeah. question. You said sure. you're a fighter, right? Yeah. 
You took the sudden charge thing? Yes. Good. <laughs> so does this mean you can cross all this distance and still attack, or...? Yes. Okay. Uh... Jay approves your choices. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's just that is a change of the rule. Normally anyone could charge, but yeah. Yeah, now, yeah, only fighters can charge. Really? Yes. Because mm -hmm. oh. it's a fighter. Trick. Only fighters can do a lot of things. It sounds like it's like, you know what? We could give a whole bunch of cool powers to everybody else, so we'll just take stuff away from everybody else that fighters could already do and make you feel special. Yes. 50 foot, yeah. 55 <laughs> foot charge. <laughs> with building fighters foot. up yeah. by tearing everyone else down. All yeah. right. Now we, this should drop I your AC. Charge. That's the MMO method of balancing. I don't <laughs> like that. <laughs> I'm not a fan either, but here we are. Joe, let's have that <laughs> swing. I rolled my die and I can't see it anymore. I see so a you got three. A three Run. on the die. <laughs> so uh, that's so a swing and a miss. Point. I can. No, it's no, no, Joe. Have hope. Have I, have faith, Joe. You're I mean, a warrior. Proficiency. That's pretty you're high. A warrior. Have, have I, faith, I, says the. Clerk. I am a goblin warrior. So have, you're a hero on the inside. Now add those numbers. I <laughs> three plus, three 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 plus base did. attack plus weapon familiarity. That's all got to count for something. <laughs> so that's a grand total of nine. Oh, so close. Double it to eighteen, and we're getting warmer. But yeah. anyway, thanks for playing the home version of our game, <laughs> Arles. Yes. Well, shit. It's your turn. <laughs> What is apparent to me at this moment? What is apparent to you? Your friends are scattering. The rogue scambles up a wall. Nope, nope, she didn't. Uh, Arif starts casting a spell right in front of you, across the way, something towards where the young mage has gone. They're fighting something around a corner. You do see some flames over there. Um, do, becoming your, you know, all the more familiar in a, in a 360 world. Yeah. If this was first edition, I would cast Detect Evil and attack that direction, but I don't have that option. Okay. Um, then defend the priest. The priest said there was something behind you, though you can't see it at the moment, and your opponents, your friends are scampering towards something ahead of you. So at least you were warned there was something in the rear. In the rear? Yep. That is offensive. Not touching um, that. What do you do? Yes, cover our butts, man. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Quite I will, literally. I will cover the collective butt. All right. So I will move to the butt. All right. So you're moving southward on the map whilst doing Correct. anything else? 10, 15, 20. I make one move. <laughs> 20 feet to the south. Spam your space bar and we'll see the movement instead of you calling it out. Though I'm sure the podcast so appreciates just, that. Yeah. Now, yes, yeah, the Q button now. It... False information. Oh, it's the Q button, really? I didn't know that. Yeah. Uh -oh. He actually goes back and he's doing it. Roll again. <laughs> Damn you, roll 20. I saw nothing. All right. So you've taken right. one move south and. Do I see things? You have become aware of this little dude on the corner here. Do I have a clean line of shot at him? No, he has concealment because of the tent, which looks like it's a tarp over top. So we'll let's assume that there are crates and merchants and stuff. You know, it's not a to the ground tent. That's what. It, that's and diagonal, diagonals are not favored, correct? They're not great. You're looking at five on the first, fifteen on the second, twenty odd. You know. So. Now, how does the situation look? He's ten feet away from you. Okay, he's going to eat my sword. From ten feet? Yeah, I can throw this shit. Oh, okay. <laughs> Go right ahead. <laughs> All day, every day. I love how he's very liberal with the gods. In character, he's very, you know, sin, sin. And then he's like, you and me, Amode, I can throw this shit. <laughs> <laughs> how about um, it? Yeah, I'm just trying to find the button that I need to press to throw this shit. All right. He is throwing. And Kane, Aiden, you are on deck. Yes. To go ahead. Uh, oh, wait. I've Go ahead, Ron. That's just a warning to get your shit ready. No, I'm sorry. It's in my character sheet. It literally, it's all punched in. I just need to literally find the button. That's fine. I was stalling. You ruined my stalling moment by explaining. Uh, I, I, have, I have a question if uh, if we need to stall more. Oh, sure. Uh, I'm sure <laughs> magic will appear from Ryan any moment now. Uh, So this tent in between these two dudes. Yes. Would a line spell attack pierce through it? Uh, I'm going to say straight through the middle. No, through a corner, possibly. Okay. 
but as I move Squee from the PC start here, trust me, you're not just some dude standing there going, I'm with you now. I'm going to introduce you. <laughs> well, no, I realize, I realize I'm just, because that affects what I'm going to do. Well, here you are. I'm going to put you at the very bottom corner of the map, an innocent bystander making your way to the market, and you see, hello, arcane check. Uh, so let me figure that stat out. Paladin and Modi still waiting on you. Oh, don't feel know? free to interrupt. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No. Does anyone Where's actually? The know? Where is the button? Yeah. Where is it? Or does it not exist? Oh wait. What's that? Hey! Ah! Uh, I found it. Did it hit? It says attack seventeen slash eighteen. Uh. Uh, the slash is the damage attack is your attack. Oh, I see. Okay. Coming down, you misjudge its fiery form, connecting with its space, and it kind of wavers a little bit back, sucking in its little fiery gut, and you literally do... He does the backward kneel, and the sword goes whoosh, flat across, and just miss his own flames licking your sword, and yet so close and a miss. Sorry. You have one chance to repent, being. Consider this your last warning. Nice cover. Well, when we get to my turn, <laughs> I'm going to start spitting infernal at you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> That was a final warning swing. Followed by two other actions I've already burned. Okay. And you are done, sir? Yes. Monsieur Kane. Yes. Uh, everybody knows got... what everybody else looks like from previous episodes. Would you describe your character coming on the scene, please? Uh, sure. So as Kane strolls up upon this cacophony of fire and strangeness. Oh, that's an action. Keep going. <laughs> 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 wonderful, Jeff. Wonderful. Uh, yeah, that's, that's your movement action. No, feel free. No, seriously. Yeah, actually move. move. Move your guy. You're going to want to probably get closer anyway. You can't sit from over here. So, you know, I was walking in quantum one day. And very, very, there you go. There he goes. Okay, so he's strolling along the map. He's heading up the edge there. And my, my, I see you see two fiery creatures flanking a tent and a foreigner all in, in steel plate swinging a sword at one, giving it final warnings. And you wish to use your knowledge arcana to identify them? Yes. Uh, knowledge arcana of 23. Why those look like small fire elementals possibly bound to a ranger or other creature or druid it's possible here in the desert likely summoned but there's several of them so not quite sure but likely they have a master and a direction okay right now they just seem to be a poor innocent creatures that were you know trying to set a tent afire and <laughs> how do you hug and hide behind a tent without setting it alight you know like sooner yeah. or later ah, whoosh. anyway Got you. I got you. They are skulking about. One is in combat. You become aware of a paladin, and wonderful. Mm. So obviously, the foreigners attacking natives of your country, even though summoned, they are, have citizen rights, and you should act accordingly. Do they though? <laughs> this ain't Catapash. They're fine. This is racism is bad here in Quantum. We respect all races and creatures. Anyway, what do you wish to do, sir? That is up to you. Then shouldn't we be respecting the fire elementals? That's what I was implying. Yeah, but they're just summons. You're in a land of... been all like, oh, hey there, buddy. What's up? All right, you know what? Argue on your turn initiative. Aiden, what do you do? (laughs) Uh, (laughs) We're never getting anywhere. I'll kind of delay my turn and uh, see what's going on. See how this plays out? Yeah. Fair enough. I, I don't. I don't have any allegiances to anyone. These might be friendly fire elementals. That's right. They might be fire elementals of the that's, police. That's right. Thank you know. so much for role playing your character. Yes. Um. So, did you say you had an elven ancestry? Yes. Uh, Arctic elven ancestry. Really? You just yes. Had, you just had the. Th- what are you doing here in the middle of the desert? It's hot here. I don't know. You just you, Arctic elf. Want to see the world? Yeah. Exactly. You know, from one desert to the other. Hey, Arif, you're from Katapesh. Are you dying to see the Olfen Lords way up in the freezy? Never mind. Oh, oh God, <laughs> oh God, no! I, I hear it's a, a cold version of hell. That's wonderful. I, I That's mean, right. according to uh, it, it was this Tristan's treatise on places most foul. It, 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 yes, those places are high up. In there. Aiden's defense, despite my teasing him. Uh, I did ask him to play like a day ago. <laughs> he pulled this guy out of a hat. So, and I had no clue we were in the desert. 
No clue. You know, on a horse with no name. So yeah, I'm kind of just bouncing around here. Okay. At the very bottom of the round, I guess I should put these guys in here. Um, with a horrible, uh, you know, the master is saw you guys coming, is loading up, you know, with a horrible three, as it were, they begin acting. So starting at the bottom of the map, Kane. Okay. Yeah. Uh, our little dude here is watching people, you know, ahead of him or whatever, and you're not necessarily labeled as a target. So my little guy, he actually wanders off. This is like suddenly turn on you and like, oh, you're, you know, you've got the big PC green bar over your head. I'm going after you. Like, just like you stayed in character, as do they. They have a, you know, they seem to have a task and they are executing it. And they're fast, like way fast. This guy, gingerbread man, you can't catch me, goes. Sorry, did you say Q? Yeah, Q. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Comes running around the corner and tries, instead of kind of like going extra wide to guarantee the flanking position, he just comes up on the paladin's other flank and attacks it. Attacks our paladin of Imode with his little melee tendril. And in the spirit of good dice, since this is a play test and everyone's poo pooing my, my new dice tower. To show you what kind of trouble you're in, and just for funsies, because I feel like doing it. For bam, eleven. Ah. No. To hit. To hit the paladin. No, no. never. Okay. <laughs> Our other little dude steps forward. Now you said you threw your sword. Yes. Okay, so the sword went whooshing past him and he bent backwards to dodge the spinning sword that goes flying past him and he steps in right onto your flank and again attacks the paladin because you are the meat shield. 19. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe? Is that like a grazing hit? Is that like a... Do I feel sorry for him? <laughs> If well, so, yes. He's trying to give you the hot foot. Look, there's the, uh, you know, there's little feet. Yo, it's, little not his, it's not his fault that he's sin filled with sin. Oh, okay. Uh, that's going to be six and four is ten points of damage to the paladin. Oh. Please. Yeah, I don't feel bad for him anymore. <laughs> Please take that off. Squee, you're a little dude. Turns mm. on you. Attacks you. And... Happy, happy dice noises. 17 with his flaming little tendril. Miss. All right. The last just. one. Edema <laughs> decides to just sort of come, step out and come right at you, Edema. Yeah, yeah he's coming to me. It's not always a good thing, dude. <laughs> well, I, I said I had a held action, right? Ah, oh, yes, that's true. So he comes at you. What was that action? That was to swing. Okay. Feel free. And since I have a fancy little ability mm -hmm. uh, called Magical Striker, since I cast a spell, that means my weapon cons is considered magical this round. Ah, but can you hold actions while taking standard actions? In the old game, you could not. You can only take move actions and hold an action. I'm not taking a standard action. You did by casting sword. a spell. I cast a spell, and then that was my first action. Then I walked. Yeah, but I'm saying, like, when you usually, in the old rules, when you usually went to hold an action... Right, like I'll wait for him to come at me type of thing. You're holding off the standard action. You were only allowed move actions while you're setting that up. There's yeah, different, the that, the different action, types of actions, actions though. Are actions now. Oh, They're, right, okay. Yeah. Well, I guess what I'm asking is, you know, are they pissy about you setting up, you know, starting off with something that's... Okay, so you cast, you move, you wait, and... I swing with a two-handed bastard sword. Okay. Oh, God. Every wizard wants what? one. <laughs> Just pulls out this great big Hassan Chop. Hassan Chop. And natural one. There we go. Oh, Ooh. critical oh, fail. So critical <laughs> fail. Don't worry. Ro Roll Tunny never lets the DM down. Mm hmm. That's right. Now, what are, the, what are the critical fail? How about we just draw one of the yield cards? Hey, eh? what do you say? I don't believe that's scaled for this particular system. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I, I like the sound of this. Notched. Your weapon takes 1d6 points of damage, ignoring hardness. So your actual steel weapon itself... Yeah, that itself... would break the sword in the system. What? Surely a sword is like at least 5 or 10 hardness, like hit, hit points itself. 
Um, steel sword? Dude, well, a door has like, like a, 10 or 15. A standard shield, like a standard steel light shield has hardness 3 and 3 dent. So you take 3 points off and then you take 3 damage and the shield gets 1 dent. Okay, so what about sword? Which pretty much... All right. Well, what's uh, the, that's uh, fine. Fine. I want to. I don't want to use old rules to break the new rules. And this is no, no, play dude, test, dude. Um, we, do you want to notice that there are no rule lawyers present this time around. <laughs> uh, I, I'm looking it up. Give me a minute. Well, no, we got Joe. Thank Joe you. and Jay read the rules fanatically, at least further than I could when I was reading the adventure and then trying to run a network. Yeah, um, that was a while ago. Yeah. Now, <laughs> however, a natural one is a critical fail, and bad shit happens. Yeah, mate. Yep. Yep. I just can't remember what kind of batch <laughs> happens. This is when the realm of the DM can take off and flounder a new universe. Well, personally, I, I'm a big fan of Hassan chopping. So, like, the sword goes up and it comes down. And the little dude just kind of sidesteps you and it hits the ground. And the ground is a little softer here. See the water? The mud-ish marks the dark markings coming off the north part of this. You know, it just your sword sticks in the ground. And becomes wedged for uno momento and you must spend actions to remove it and that doesn't even sound really really bad probably could do far worse easily you can send it to the moon and then he has to do a quest to go get it back <laughs> he goes back with the sword and it just keeps going whoosh oh shit <laughs> there goes your sword <laughs> no the blade disconnects from the well, hold on um is a natural one actually considered a critical failure? Uh, it's like missing missing the I... target by 10 or more. Okay, yeah. So everything, even fives, could be critical failures. So basically, well, anything... Yeah, my total then was 11. Does that miss by 10? Yeah. Oh, no, it does not. If anything, I should be dishing out to the critical fails of you buggers that rolled under 8. Because with, with an AC of 18, that would be anybody that rolls under 8... Gets a critical fail. Boy, that sounds harsh, doesn't it? Everyone's all like whistling and looking in the air. Well, I have no idea. No retconning on that. I, mean, I, although the... I think there is still a possibility of natural one always being a crit fail. So yes, it's... that is true. That is definitely true. Yep. Example of crit fails. Not drits. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Well, for starters, while well, you're finding that, I'm going to happily okay. take my whack so at there you. Is, no, okay, so there is failing, and then there is a critical fail. Yeah. The critical fail is when you roll the the, the one. Okay. Anything, yeah. Any other fails are just fails. Just wondering if there's a description of what specifically happens with So the what about the negative attack. five and the negative ten thing that's in there? Failing by five or more, failing by ten, succeeding by five, succeeding by ten. Here's a... Do you remember Squee in the shoe? And he, he was buggering it up and he was like hammering it in there, making it worse. And instead of like three peels, you guys went up to five. There's anything about like succeeding that by five, succeeding by ten. There's like specifically. Yeah, those are like, skill checks, maybe. Yeah. All right. Critical fail. 50 50 chance, buddy. Roll me a d4. Odd, stuck in the ground. Even goes flying behind you over your head. I like both options. And since I'm a benevolent DM. I'll let you choose your own demise. I'll let randomness roll by your hand choose your own demise. <laughs> Two, Two stuck in the ground. Right. So back to my hit, which I have rolled up here. See that 24? Is that uh, graze you a little bit there, uh, wizard? Yep, that's a hit. You have a big sword, but crap for armor. Little flamey tendril. Whoosh, right across the two arms that are bent down baseball into the ground. And he does the damage that one would find three plus four is seven points, sir, of fire damage to you. Okie doke. Oh, gotcha. Here's Round for you. two. No, wait, wait, wait. There's one more. Now that I'm fully loaded and ready to go, and I have high ground of, see the stairwell back here? Five, 10, and a lip. I'm at least 10, 15 feet up. Ah, 15 feet in the air. Who can I have a clear shot on? Let's see. There's the back of a paladin hiding behind a tent. There's that newcomer in the far corner. Should I do the long shot? You guys ever play Sniper Elite 4? I've been playing Sniper Elite 4, you know. And the juiciest German is the one way in the back. I think I'm going to shoot at Aiden for no good reason. Hey, what? No? Thanks for coming out? Okay, fine. If you want. Oh, no, no, no. I'm going to shoot at Edema. 
I mean, the guy literally put his head forward and planted sword in the ground with my little dude. So we're going to shoot mean, the maze. Yeah, but there's it. also a tree in the way because you're up in the air. That tree's in the front of you. You're the only guy I can see. My other option, like they wouldn't have put this PC here if those trees gave you that much cover. You know what I'm saying? So they're, I think they're playing the height game where I can actually see up to them. The trees are like five, 10 feet. I'm 15 feet. You guys get some concealment. Sure. But you know what I'm saying? Like they would not place her here, which has dominating. I mean, over. it would still like that math would still give me cover because the trees are like 10, 15, 10 feet. Is there no perfect. concealment in the screen? Hmm? No one complained when I said uh, you guys could so, shoot your beams through them and only the bark in the middle kind of gave cover. I'm still looking up. You're assuming that the very top, which is the plume, is exactly in my line of sight of my eye to your head. Yes. And I'm saying... <laughs> Sorry, this... I wasn't looking at the right spot. I'll... And I'm saying... I mean, I here? still get cover from this thing, so that's fun. Where are we here? I'm saying... Twang, hello. Look at them, barely touching that tree. Going and even then, we don't know the height of the building or the height of the tree. I'm saying it's 15 so. feet. Okay. And I'm saying the trees are 10 feet because, like I said, it would be a very stupid map to set this up, you know. Yeah. So concealment, like you were saying, from the trees or not, but cover from this thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, go for it. A shoot. Twang. <laughs> 21. That, I think, is a miss. What is your current AC? It should be... Hold on, I'm checking. Uh, defense. My current AC is 23. Foop. An arrow. The back of it, pointing out my position, sticks into the ground next to you. If you hadn't suddenly jumped and twisted because the pain of the fire of my minion inflicted upon you, you would have taken that right in the neck. That's my excuse. That's, that is annoying. That's my excuse. Round two. Now it's your go. Okay. Now um, you've shifted your initiative to the very end of last round by taking yes. that move. So I'm going to make your initiative two. Skip you for the next round. Well, not, I won't skip you completely. It's just you're at the bottom of it. Yep. That makes sense to everyone. Which means, Master Arif, it is your turn, sir. All right, so I hear some commotion kind of from the building around my left. So I'm going to move to the left. Oh, I see something. It's another one of those fiery guys. Let me spin my little figure down. Move around the corner with weapon drawn and take a swing. All righty. Let me refer to my quick little character sheet printout here. See what I'm looking at. Okay. Marisil, you're on deck. We'll try to um, tighten up that dead space of decision making. Now, normally in combat, you really got to see what the guys in front of you do, but you guys have spread out. There are three initial combats. We have a sniper on a nest shooting down past a minion engaging our wizard, Abdima. 20, 30 feet away behind a building, we have Old Man Arif coming around, flanking a little dude, fiery dude, who's attacking Squee, who just charged up from the very top of the map, coming down to the left side in a little tiny 10-foot squat building. Marcel has not moved again. And 30, 40 feet south of that, around a couple tents, we have Arliss playing Slap and Patty with two more, and innocent bystander Kane, who is yet to decide what he's going to do. And that is the snapshot of time. Master Arif. You just hear from the south, submit to the light. <laughs> <laughs> Go get my sword, will you? So I'll step around the corner, take a mighty swing, and got an armor class of 22. Pull a weapon? I had it drawn out from the last. What was it? It was a scimitar. Okay, that's right. Yep, and swing the scimitar, hitting AC 22 for eight points of damage. That is a hit, sir, and I don't believe these little dudes... They do have certain things about them, elemental resistances and stuff, but it's not like we're, you know. Oh, we do have some immunity, some very interesting ones that you are going to hate. But sword, just regular sword hits is not one of them. So, feel free. Ouch. And how much? Eight points. Okay. Ow. Do it again, Frank. Do it again. Do it again. And you're done, sir? I am done. All right. That's not doing it again. Squee. 
the old man that was arguing with the young wizard at the book, over a book at the master's lodge, the little Selma Hamick actress playing the little Hispanic gnome mm -hmm. that fed you and then finally got fed up with you and sent you on your way across town appears t to your aid and gets a good hit on this surprised little bugger. Maricel, it is your turn. Squee, you are on deck to go next. Okay. Uh, I am going to uh, attempt to climb this building now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I really want up there. That's, yep. that's my goal. That's Termination. My goal. I can appreciate it. So, and it's also an athletics check. Uh, but the DC is, oh, it's not, it's not happening. I critically failed it with a one. Go, go, roll 20. Woo. Oh, dear. Critical fail, you say? Yes. Critical fails can we have? Roll me D4. Four. Four. Unfortunately, you get quite high before you grab that edge and a brick sort of breaks in your hand and you fall 10 feet flat on your ass and take d6 damage do i take falling damage because yes. of the height just yes. out of curiosity okay well then uh no i don't <laughs> don't tell me what you do <laughs> uh, because, I, because i have the uh, uh the uh feet cat fall but can you do, use it during a critical fail i don't know but it just says Anytime you fall, treat it as if you fell 25 fewer feet. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I'm still putting you flat on your ass, but, and you're a little bit uh, stunned, but you do not take damage. Okay. I, I'm still stuck on the point. Jeff, did you say unfortunately? What? Yes, it's a Jefferson. Yeah, yeah. What? Unfortunately. <laughs> Well, you got to roll a d4. He rolled a four, and then he said, "Unfortunately." Yeah, it's the four oh. of fortune. No one, no one got that till I've been doing that for years. No one's got that till Messina just now. I'm not, I can't spoon feed you all my wisdom and <laughs> and awesomeness in this pod. Oh, Jesus, you mean shitty ass pod? Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> one of these days he's gonna realize that we don't get the jokes because they're just <laughs> jokes. Yeah, yeah the I'm audience the does. Pods, even that one was horrible. The audience does. Squee. It wasn't even funny. Moving on to Squee, Ar Arles, you're on. Deck, save your comments till then. Squee. Yay, I Squee will swing. All right. Do you want to move it all? Nope. You sure? Uh, hold on, let me look. <laughs> Flanking is still <laughs> relevant, <now>. buddy. <laughs> hold on, let me look. Fine. Now there's still five foot step in this, or guarded step. Which is Starfinder. Or is he provoked by moving? Oh, as long as I don't move out. Yeah, well, you're moving through. I'm not moving but, through. I'm staying within. Oh, 3.5 is long gone, buddy. Uh, Pathfinder is moving through. Anyway, mm -hmm. it's fine. I'm pretty sure they, they left something like that in there. Oh, Apologies to those that are like, and we read Pathfinder 2nd Edition, and now Jeff's giving us this crap. This is just 1st Edition rehash because everybody didn't read everything. We didn't do our homework. But hey, look, 5th level, yeah? Something refreshing other than Doomsday? No? No points for that? Still the desert. Still the desert. Still interesting. <laughs> uh, we have desert coming your way. This is literally the second time I've cast a spell in over a year and a half, so. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all get your chance. You know, rumor has it, uh, Rollmonger's Network might be giving Frank his own show. That's a good thing. <laughs> That's a good thing. Spells galore. All right, oh, spells. That's what you should call it. Oh, yeah. Spells. Frank gets to cast a spell? That's a shitty name for a show. <laughs> Frank fails again. Oh, no. No, spells galore. Spells galore. An all wizard party, right? They just get rushed. <laughs> no, it doesn't have to be all wizard, just all caster. We were attacked between 6 a.m. and 6.15. No one had this public open. Party gets slaughtered. The end. <laughs> we didn't memorize our spells. Anyway, what did you get there? Squee, 10? Big whopping 17. Oh, there we go. So close, buddy, but I'm afraid Plus, I missed. is there any kind of a flanking bonus? Why, yes, I'm so glad you talked oh, him into flanking. Okay. 19 then. that's a hit plus two there you go oh sorry hit i'm getting there arles 
Tell us what you're going to do while we're waiting on the damage coming up. Slash, slash, and ask for repentance, and then slash again. All right. Well, you don't have a sword, so are you going to draw another weapon? Or are you going to go no, fetch your weapon? Back, it comes back to me every time. Oh, you have the returning feature on it. Yes. And when does it come back to you? At the end of your uh, turn? I, no, at the end of my throw. Tomorrow. No, I mean, like, we've we've cycled the round, so it's already back in your hand. It comes back. It comes back. I could throw it three times in a round if I wanted to. Really? Yeah. Yeah, there's really cool abilities like that this time. Damn. That's gross. I got, I got one, too. I'd be throwing arrows at people because, you know, it really hurts on the way out. <laughs> just chucking it. Where's your bow, sure Ranger? I'm just going to throw this arrow at you. A big... That would actually be a super crazy concept for a, for a Ranger. Well, a serrated dart, maybe. But anyway, Four a, a Ranger doesn't have the arm pumping, you know, that a bow mechanical. Yeah, give it to a fighter and just, like, let them throw everything. Like, just, it doesn't matter what it is. Like, no, no, up, you, throw it. <laughs> yeah, guy, no, no, you need a monk to do this. Yes, a monk. You're right. All right. Uh, Squee, damage was four? Four. All right. Our house. Chip, chip, chip chipping away, boys. I'm not. I'm just running headfirst into a wall. <laughs> <laughs> Be helpful. <laughs> you know, I thought it would, the combat would go faster if I added some players. No. Nope. No, no, you know what? We know that wall's not a mimic. <laughs> yeah. He's testing them. Arles, that is you're solid up. information. Arles, what do you got, buddy? Arles trap finding at its finest. <laughs> Swing, Arles. Kane, you're on All right. deck. All right. Hadouken. Hadouken. And Hadouken. Is that three attacks? Because I'm yep. not looking at it. Yep. Yeah. That's, a, that's an 18, which is a hit, and has critical damage. Ooh. Which I believe it just means like one of your dice is at the top of its, you know. I have chain. a button I can press that says roll critical damage. No, it, it means that uh, one of your two D10s got a 10. Yeah. Oh. That's what I was saying. Okay. Ha! 18, slashing damage. I think the roll critical damage is when that 18 is like 10 above the guy's AC, like of the 28. We're when hoping when the attack roll is, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So 18 on an untouched. Now touched. Now touched. Now stabbed. Then that seven with that favorite arrow. Natural one. Critical fail. Sword just doesn't come back. <laughs> exactly. Well, uh, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna botch your third attack. Don't worry, as a miss anyway. As yeah. your your store your sword um, comes back and it uh, is well, impeded by an object. I'm not oh, throwing it. Just it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm in melee range. All right. So you're right next to these crates in this tent and you, you know, stab in, like swing, pull back and yeah. stab something, you know, like a big sack of flour gets in your eyes. Yes. Screws up your next attack anyway. Yes. Wretched. Unless you want to suffer the D4 of fate. Um, <laughs> no, I, I'm happy sa stabbing it. There's a pond crate. like 15 feet away. I would love just to have you go wing sploosh. <laughs> It's Kate, okay, because it would come back to me. Oh, okay. Kane, right. what did what did we get on that um roll? It was really it was really high, right? The arcane about yeah, these it things? Was, it was uh, twenty three. Fire bad, water hurts them, and these poor innocent, practically native to your area, little dudes are being attacked by a vicious foreign infidel of another faith in I'm still, also a foreigner. Oh right, you're in Arctica. Okay, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to sell it, didn't work. All right, fine. So I guess if anything, that's motivation to help these guys. Sure. <laughs> Fire bad. What do you do, Kane? I suppose uh, we've I, de de delayed you long enough. I'm going to move 35 feet up to be horizontal with uh, Arliss or Arles. Arles. It's funny because on the map, it looks like you're just walking right on by like, do, 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 do. I don't see anything. I don't see the beating going on the alley. <laughs> I mean, pretty much. Um, but I oh, will. Fine. I guess it should help. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I guess he's I, skirting seen... the edge of the board to like a ninety degree angle, and then literally has to turn ninety degrees to go. Maybe I'll help you. Uh, I will uh, put my arm out to the side, uh, directly towards the fire em elemental, and blast off a electric arc. Ooh, yes, uh, cantrip um, uses my last two actions. And I choose both of the fire elementals, and it jumps between them. Uh, and they have to make a reflex save. Really? Yep. Otherwise, yeah, they okay. take. One, well, one con considering you got to go through that corner of a metal dude, I'm going to give the second guy just a little bonus to his save. Just He's a made one. of metal. He's using an electric charge. 
Yeah, that's why my fire elemental that's suffering this damage has a bonus to his reflex save, because the lightning wants to go to Arl's and not to me. <laughs> oh, okay. Fair enough. Now, if if I was a douchebag DM, I'd be like, Arl's, roll a reflex save. <laughs> I totally I mean, got this. It, it doesn't specifically say that I get to choose the targets. What? I, it, just says, it says one or two targets. I would assume that that means that I get to choose both. Yeah. But yeah. if you want to play it as it just randomly jumping, I'm cool. With no, that too. I'm just saying it jumps to the second one, but because of its chance, physics, yeah. it's kind of slowed and pulled to the metal dude. No, you know. I got you. I got you. Actually, but, it would be accelerated by the metal dude. Yeah, it, it would almost <laughs> definitely jump to him. But there's magic in this game. We don't have to follow physics exactly. Okay. Exactly. All right. Yay, magic. <laughs> Anywho, uh, max for 10 damage to each 27 uh, reflex and. 24 to reflex uh yes so they save um i'm not sure whether they critically save or not um what's um, your dc uh dc is i believe 19 yeah 19 no they would have to get so they save yes okay so they take half damage yeah we save but not critically happy saves yes okay so what am i looking at here uh Ten, five, five damage okay Five million points of damage. <laughs> five million damage. All of the damage. All right. Well, you guys are pecking at them. I don't know. <laughs> Just... peck, peck. I'm pecking at a wall. Away. Yeah, get, get in the fight, no, girl. You're, you're pecking at a not a mimic. <laughs> there you go. Um, this one comes up into flanking position, and we start tag teaming the paladin because as for whatever reason, I'm not saying they're going to ignore you, but we're in a better position to, to attack him right now than to break off and go after you and are a little confused what hit me from behind. Because the Paladin still did way more damage to us in a strike than you have recently. Not enough to turn our attention. And we've got two elementals flanking a Paladin. <laughs> 40 feet to the north beyond a tent and a building, we have one elemental flanked by an old guy and a tiny little green dude. <laughs> Whack it away. <laughs> Um, now what I forgot to do, even though I was set up, I only shot once is I could probably do a lot more. So I'm going to do that now. So let's start with the elementals who I believe only get one attack, but our sniper gets to do a lot more. So bum, bum, bum. we will do all four and I'll go top to bottom. So old man, Arif. 21. Adima. 28. Don't I get to go before he does? Arles. Uh, yeah, you do. 20. But I'm on a roll here. But I'm bump. At 11. And I'm keeping those. <laughs> 11? So, 11 and a 20 for Arles. Um, I think I'm... Hit, hit and the barely hit. 11? Hit you? No, I, I, I know I, the eleven didn't hit me. The twenty? Cool. Yeah, that spoke me right in the face. Okay, now go, don't forget you gotta declare move actions to get your shield up and up, up and out, kind of thing. That is correct. Okay. Again, I reserve to well, I said. That's fine. Okay, so if, that's right. Um, Abdima, I had set his initiative, but I had set it um, just before, like just after them. Just I need to have it just before them. He's right. So let's have what Abdima has up its sleeve first. And then we'll resolve that damage and wonderfulness. So what do you got? Okay, first action is I cast True Strike. Okay. Does that provoke by casting in front of me? Or do you do need to you make a roll to cast ability. defensively? Do you have the ability to attack of opportunity? I'm if you do, then it does provoke. No, nope, but... I do not. Okay, so I'm good. Fine. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then I'm going to, since I'm using true strike, I actually get to roll, tw uh, roll 20 twice. So I'm going to do one free one here and then I'll roll my actual attack because I couldn't figure out how to program that in. Okay. Roll one. D uh, three. just for the record, um, I assume the map is set up. Jay, you are right. You do have concealment and such from those trees. I just have abilities that help negate them. So the map is, as you would say, it's like, hmm, why would they put her up there through trees and stuff? It's like, I am such an awesome sniper. 
as two, a- two actions I can use favored aim and, you know, blah, 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 ignores concealment and screened and reduces from cover by two. It's really cool and gets plus two and tackle. Oh, that looks like a 30 uh, for attack. Okay. So roll a critical to hit damage. That was a natural 20. Oh. Yay. Roll your critical damage dice. Do it. And he got a natural oh, one for his damage. <laughs> did, did they get rid of uh, twice a few times? So your damage on this critical hit is, because it's got the arrow down, you roll a one on the damage dice. And when you rolled the critical damage to back it up, you rolled another one. Yeah, but it's okay. It's that's still 24 points of damage. That's nothing. Yeah, that's okay. Yep. You're going easy on him. It's not your fault. <laughs> you were summoned here. All right. Um, 24. All right. Your initial damage, the very first strike. The very first thing I did was hit him with the magic missile for a total of seven points. Okay, that's what I wanted to know. Also, if I could read my own writing, it would say J right beside this elemental. Right, oh. <laughs> okay. Ouch. Lots of ouch. My flame dims quite a bit, but I'm still here. Is that you, sir? Um, I should have one more action. Okay. Which you wish to do I what think. with? Um, I'll make a second attack. Why not? Why not? We're all friends here. No. Assuming it goes through. Assuming it goes through. Click the button. There we go. And? And? And the computer's being slow. <laughs> Um, 11 what's going on here 11 miss yeah that's that's terrible very well too bad so sad our turn so getting back to those juicy attack rolls but you did do very well sir I had a 21 against you Adima oh that's a miss Okay. And 28 against, uh, I believe, Old Man Arif was the last big strike or the only real strike on me. Yep. So I flame the little old dude. <clears throat> you flame the old guy. And you take a D8 plus four is nine points of fire damage, sir. What a shit. And then we have Arl's for 20, which was a hit, yeah? Correct. And then we have... Um, 11 was a miss. And a 1, 4 is for 5 points of fire damage to Arles. And the, the second was a miss. That is all the elementals. And now we have Kima, the ranger, the sniper. Two actions. Why am, Now, why would I name me? Why would I roll it? Well, you know, come on, guys. It's second edition playtest. People want to know these things. Two actions to engage favored aim. Concentrate ranger. Attempt to range weapon strike against her hunted target. Well, (laughs) I'm hunting you. She ignores concealment and screened. So I shoot right through the tree, right into the open, right into Edema. Because you were the first one to attack my poor little friend. So I made you my hunted target. And she reduces the target's bonus from cover, which you have. Oh, you do. From little dude by two. And you don't get any benefits from those. And I get a plus two to my attack roll. Which is crazy big to start with. However, it takes up a lot of my actions because I want to do a favorite aim, shoot, and then use my last action to reload without moving. So on the long short, does a 52 hit you? (laughs) (laughs) Actually, sorry, hunt target actually requires an action and I can designate a new one. Mm -hmm. So I believe um, there's, I think I have to re-engage it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you do. Yeah. Like, I don't think it carries over to the other. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. One of the reasons a few people were complaining about Ranger. Oh, because of the... Um, okay. Action yeah, economy. so I reactivate you as my hunted target. I use my last two actions to take the shot. And next round, I'm going to have to do some reloading. But I have another cool ability for that. But anyway, that's fine. Because uh, I want to be fair. 
So last round, I just shot at you and then used the thing to reload and didn't really move. This time, I'm getting serious and down comes. They bring the pain. I'm going to bring the pain, son. And just for funsies, just because we're doing a video, here comes 12 and a big, 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 big plus. A very big plus. You know what? I realized that our dice rolls have not been up there. There you go. You guys want to see dice rolls? Because we've just been rolling the dice raw, but not showing the dice board. So now I'm showing the actual dice board. For those in the know, 27 to hit you, sir. That is a hit. That is a hit. Only a plus 15. Let's talk about my 2d8 plus 4 piercing damage. That's about to come your way. It's just a flesh wound. Just a, just a, just a tap... <clears throat> Just a hello. How are you? 13 points of damage, sir. Oof. Oof. Run away. However, Team Desert Team Alpha is done. I'm glad you didn't throw a rocket into there. And please don't draw on my map. That's just inconsiderate. <laughs> to the, to the, it's like green marks all over. It's like, what are you people doing drawing on my map? Stop that. Clear the drawing. There we go. So, Round three is upon you. A snapshot in time. Everyone is mixing up with their fiery little friends, and this woman continues to pelt us with arrows. If you were at the height of an action sequence, round three would be it. Most combats end in five. If it stretches to ten, we're in trouble. But we're going to find out. We're gonna, <laughs> you're going to find out next time in the next video.